Commissioners, I, it was like I was hearing my own prepared comments. <laughs> yeah, because when I went through and, and read through all 57 pages again of the uh, grand jury report, I didn't see anywhere in there where uh, the uh, commission shall establish a sufficiently independent uh, council. I, I wonder if the framers of the Constitution, when they were uh, hashing things out between Adams, Madison, Jefferson, and the founding fathers, if they wanted to have a sufficiently independent judiciary or maybe a sufficiently independent um, legislative body. They're independent. And I think we need to, uh, you know, as we're going through this national debate over, over uh, right and wrong on uh, tort reform and, and health care, I think we really need to take to heart what, what's going on now politically on a, on a greater structure is this really needs to be an independent. And we have excellent legal counsel that, that the county has. I'm sure we can figure out a way not to have this confirmation process muddy up the waters. Because I, I, uh, as, soon as, as sure as I'm standing here today, is that if, if the confirmation language is in the final draft of this, the amount of people we had in this room uh, when the 10,000 homes issue on Calorie Judge Groves came down, and with people in the hallways out here and people all over this building, this is such a vital issue because the credibility of our county is on the line. We weren't dubbed Corruption County by the Palm Beach Post or the Sun Sentinel. It was by the, uh, by the, the uh, Time magazine. You know, so it's something that on a national scale, we can't be hedging around the margins by confirming through this great body. I mean, you know, you're all doing a good job, but, but why do you want to take this ownership? And when it comes down to funding, I'm a vice mayor of a small town in this municipality. Uh, I worked with uh, Commissioner uh, Vanna to uh, help get our, our, uh, our, uh, our piece of sausage put together in Tallahassee. And I'm here prepared now to say I think that any municipality who signs on to this it needs to take ownership of helping to fund it. Because I don't need to go any farther than the nearest mirror to find out who was responsible, who bears some, some responsibility for the mess that this commission got into. It's every voter in this county. Bad things happen when good people don't rise to the occasion. And we need to be the best that we can be and get the confirmation language out of this and the rejection language. Mr. Chairman, could you could we ask Denise to respond? Because really, we asked the staff, and I think they have good reason to suggest what they're saying. But they wrote this, and they've worked with the private sector, and they worked with Mr. Baker and and um, the rest of the folks to come up with this document. So it, maybe Denise could just give you some pointers on why some of the language is in there. I think the most important thing to remember, and I always start my comments off with this, is that the board is imposing this on themselves right now, not waiting for a charter change in 2010 to have something come about maybe in 2011, perhaps 2012. A, problem's being, um, a problem has been identified now and it's being addressed now. So there's limitations with what we can do with ordinances. I think that we've sufficiently removed the commission from virtually every decision-making process um, because if you call it a confirmation, what they're confirming is a recommendation of one person to be an inspector general. So four commissioners can say, we accept that, and there'd be no reason for them not to accept that some, unless something was brought to their attention that required further review by the Ethics Commission. And on the subject of the Ethics Commission, it's a five-member commission. I don't know where the seven-member, that might have been an earlier draft by the um, private sector, but it's a five-member commission, and the BCC has no um, appointment power on that ethics commission whatsoever. Mr. Chairman, I, I understand and, what you're saying, and and, 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 I, and, the, and the real practical, as as the um, the grand jury report says, we have to have meaningful independence. The state attorney himself has backed these ordinances and says that they clearly have functional independence, because unless you have a separate entity that's created by special law you have your parameters legally what you can do at the uh, local level for the county and who would be the person writing the check i mean you have practical considerations that have to be taken into account so yes the contract has to be with the board of county commissioners 
but we're putting um, specific details as to what that contract has to say, including a term. Very strong for-cause termination um, procedures that require two public hearings. I would say that we have the strongest local ordinance throughout the entire country on this inspector general. We've looked at a lot of them. I'd share any information with anybody. But we have really gone over and beyond to take away from my client really any ability to meddle or interfere in this process. And if they do, the inspector general can refer them to the state attorney's office for criminal prosecution. That's how far we've gone. Absolutely. Dennis, that, I, I mean, think the question is not with us. It's the other entities that would cover this. The problem is not with us. We're going we're to do this, okay? And we're going to execute it, and it works real well. And I'm sure the next, uh, the next secret grand jury that has something pop, plop out of it. But we're going to do what we're going to do. The other entities you need to talk about, the other entities in the county. It's not us. And we're executing this on a very fast track, and we're going to have it done. And then the voters will vote on it. If they don't like it, they can change it. But functionally, it's independent. Hey, do you know the other five entities that would be proposing or those individuals that might propose this? That's where you need to be involved personally to make sure that gets done. You're talking the school board, Port Authority, airport, PBSO? Airports, airports are under it. Sheriff, school board, cities, I don't know what they're going to do. And the entities that are proposing this individual, you know, we don't know who those people are making those appointments. So it's independent as we can, setting the process up. Now I'm going to have one comment, then we're going to move on for oh, public uh, comment. Well, that's why I mean, uh, uh, just you know, the philosophical question that you and the previous speaker raised has to do with should there be any linkage whatsoever to elected officials, uh, countywide elected officials, namely the board of county commissioners. Uh, I many people think that it's not preferable to have all of the decision making being made by unelected people, especially since it's paid for out of the county coffers, the, the county commission, ultimately there has to be some tie back to the elected officials. It's the most tenuous of ties that the county attorney could come up with, namely to confirm, and you emphasize, I think, the wrong word, you emphasize will, I think you should have emphasized confirm, a selection process that we are completely hands off from. So it's just as I and you know we'll have time to evaluate this before it comes forward for discussion and a vote in December. But my understanding is that it's set up, established in this way, and that the state attorney is signed on because there ultimately has to be some link, even if it's just a, a small link, back to the body as the elected officials of Palm Beach County. That's the thing <laughs> behind it. Thank you. Mr. Um, Chairman, Yes. one more comment about the word veto that might have um, come from the state attorney. I mean, I know it did come from the state attorney, so you might have heard that there um, from him. His recommendation is that we change the ordinance to have seven commissioners veto the selection or the recommendation that's being made. So you may see that word in your final draft, but that's probably where the word veto came from. 